Entitled single mothers are becoming a trending topic on almost every social media platform, in particular, YouTube and TikTok. And it's crazy because on these online dating shows, especially Kendra G, they don't want no short men. You gotta be able to provide for them. You need to be able to make a three-story house out of peanut butter and jelly. It just goes to show you that a lot of women are out of tune of where they are in the dating pecking order and what men really want. And I have a great example for you right now. So let's get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell guys. Let's go. Hi, how are you? Hi, what's your name, baby? My name is Autumn. Autumn, where are you calling us from? I'm calling, sorry, it's my dog. I'm calling from um, Orlando. Orlando? Yes. Part? Orlando? Yeah. Uh, Why y'all be stroking that weave like it's yours? Why? Why? It's not real. It's not real. It'd be so crazy. Ladies be doing some of the fakest stuff. Fake nails, sometimes BBLs, fake weaves. But want the realest dude on the block. Just don't get wigs. That's dumb. <laughs> um, fake ass laugh. Right. Fake laugh. How old are you, boo? I'm 30. 30? What you do for a living? Your dog is barking, Oh, I'm sorry. She hears another voice. Uh, hey, doggy. What? Hey, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> my baby that's my other child but okay. um i'm a nurse a nurse do you mm -hmm. have any children i have two kids how about your kids can i get the da 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 sound of it where does kendra g find these people from this is there like a, a a website like the the food stamp welfare office Let's go to www.poverty.com and find the worst candidates for men in the world. And let's... Eight and two. Two, same dad? Yes. Why you not with the man that you had? We got a baby one or two years ago. We broke up a couple months ago, so... Why? <laughs> um, it just didn't work out. Like, you know how people, like, love and stuff like that oh, okay <laughs> yeah all right autumn orlando 30 a nurse two kids what's your birthday zodiac sign i'm a cancer i'm shutting all these doors sorry you're a goddamn cancer all right yes you are <laughs> in more ways than one we're sorry july right, 3rd worry, no cookie you move in it says cookie autumn i need you to see it still you ready oh, all right mm -hmm. okay what kind of man you looking for um has their own um educated um loyal um just really just family orientated what? like to travel you know stuff like that what is orientated what the f is that <laughs> oriented maybe you can no wonder why the guy left you boo you can't even you can't even spell Okay, what's some deal breakers? Um, not financial, doesn't have financial freedom. That's a deal breaker because I do. Um, short. What? <laughs> go back to the financial freedom. I'm gonna get to the short. Let's go back to the financial freedom part. Okay, what's some deal breakers? Um, not financial, doesn't have financial freedom. That's a deal breaker because I do. Boo, you're a nurse. Okay, a nurse. I went to medical school and got an MD. Okay, my father's a nurse. My grandmother was a nurse. My aunt is a nurse. You know what? They had to work every day. Do you know what financial freedom means? You don't have to work and you're still rich. 
Ah, that's financial freedom. You don't have that. You have to punch a clock. So you don't have that. Now, let's deal with the short problem. Okay? We're gonna we're gonna come back. Let's play a little bit more of this short thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't like short guys. Like I like them taller than me. I'm five five. She's five five. Okay, so taller than you. Does he and, have to be in Orlando? Oh, oh, keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, no, no. But um, Orlando, preferably. But I travel, so matter. Okay. Um, does he make a certain amount of money? Yes, he does. Um, so over like 60, 60K. Over 60K. You have kids? I want my kids. I like kids. They like me. Do you want more kids? <laughs> Maybe in the future, like marriage, do it right this time. I think I want mine. Play the part where her ass said, do it right this time. <laughs> Do you want more kids? Maybe in the future, like marriage, do it right this time. What the f do you think this is a video game? You can just start over and that type of stuff? You know, like give me like some video game sound effects or something in the background. It's Super Mario Brothers. Like, is what this is? Is this King Koopa? You get the start over? This is real life! Okay? You're not going to do it right this time with somebody that got something to offer. Okay, wait a minute. You got two kids, eight and two years old, right? God bless you. Happy for you. Give you a round of applause in the background. <laughs> Happy for you. I ain't going to ever meet you already, so I ain't worried about it. But you know what? You know, for you guys out there who worked real hard, you know, let her bring what she's saying is, in her own words, mistakes, so she can do it right this time and get married to you when the last dude didn't marry her. What do you think this is? In Orlando, while all them fine women in Florida and come and spoil you? <laughs> I think I would mind. Okay. This is Autumn in Orlando, 30 is a nurse, two kids, a cancer. You gotta make at least 60K. Give us the Kendra can. Okay, hold on. Okay, you got a body on you, girl. Ooh, look at that booty, small ways. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead on and show that the thing. She is caking it up. He ain't lying. I might. <laughs> I take that back. I might. I might be meeting you. <laughs> I, might, I might. I might hit you up. I, I mean, you buy your whole new weave. I stay tricked. <laughs> that has something else, boy. Uh -oh, you know. <laughs> keep the phone down there because I feel like you keep moving. So can we keep the phone where it was? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So Autumn, when was your last relationship? Um, six months ago. Okay, you don't gotta answer this question, but when was the last time you was intimate with someone? You can come closer if you want to. It's up to you. Six I just months. Like oh, six months ago? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Autumn, why do you think you're single? Um, because I just got out of a long-term relationship. So I was in, for a moment, I wasn't looking for nothing like serious. I just was focusing on myself, redirecting myself and, you know, um, focus on my education. I'm in law school right now. So, you know, I'm ready to get back into like a relationship or dating or something. Okay. Focusing on yourself. You're in law school right now. I see a little thigh tattoo, boo. I'm seeing that, you know what I mean? Let me tell you something. Those little thigh tattoos that certain, you know, you young women have today. Let me, let me tell you something about stuff like that, right? <laughs> While it can be sexy, it might take you off the wifey list because men with money and men that have something to lose, but think about why does she have that? What kind of person puts a thigh tattoo there? There's a reason, Let's, it's, it's kind of like the little stamp back here, you know, you used to put your name in the lower back, remember that? We used to call it the, you know, the amp stamp. You guys remember that? Mm-hmm, yeah. 
it's kind of teaching a guy how he should treat you and maybe not take you serious. So I always say this, for women who want to be married and stuff like that, those visible tie, thigh tattoos, try to have tie tattoos if you're going to do them so small enough where people can't see it. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I feel like I'm a cat. What? <laughs> because um, I've been in a long-term relationship, so I feel like I know what is required in a relationship. And also, I have my own everything. I'm educated. Um, I'm really, like, I'm strong-minded, so. You couldn't even say oriented. You said orientated. Educated doing what? I have my own money. They gotta have, they have to be able to spoil me though, so still. Let me talk about this. I'm sorry, I know I'm, I'm cutting it off. What, why are you attached to a man? What did she say? I'm educated, I have my own money, I'm smart. Things that men don't really, if men do care about that, is later on down the totem pole. Do you respect men? Are you submissive? You know, um, do you sacrifice for the relationship? It seems like you didn't in your, pri your prior relationship. And obviously by the way you look and you came in here with these little short shorts, I don't know. I am able to fool you. <laughs> I like gifts. <laughs> she likes gifts. So listen, I'm just gonna say something that I see men say a lot on my show. You definitely beautiful. You got the pretty factor down pat. Let's talk about the kids for one second, because you have a two-year-old and an eight-year-old. Um, same father, though, right? Yes. Do you want to get married one day? Yes, that is the goal. Um, I was engaged, previously engaged to my last relationship, my baby father. So definitely, that's the goal. I don't want to keep working towards something, and it's just like dating, or we're just talking or having fun. Now it's time to, like, you know, I'm 30 years old, kind of, like, kick up a notch. <laughs> So what's the role you want the guy to play in your children's lives? Um, Hold up. Just like... Wait a minute. Eventually. Like, if we're dating, then I don't really have nobody around my kids. Something ain't right. But eventually I want, like, a father figure. Okay, so you do want a father figure for your children? Yeah, definitely. I don't want someone who, who just wants me. I'm a whole package. <laughs> She's a whole package. He can have kids already, you said, right? Not too many, though. <laughs> What's too many? Over two. That's if okay. three. So you want somebody to come in and take care of those kids and be a father figure and, and, and take a whole package. I have the right guy for you. The dude that you just broke up with. Take your ass back to him. It's 300 and, you know, let me just show this article here in the background. This article shows that it is $300,000 to raise a kid now. You're talking about a man wanting to come in and spend $600,000, and obviously you have a two and an eight year old, so it's a little bit less. That's possibly, give me like a cha-ching sound effect for Tati and like 450,000, put that on the screen. You asking a man to come in and help you pay a $450,000 debt that ain't his, having you take your ass to the back of the line. It's not gonna happen, it's not going down for the most part, all right? You need to go back to that dude. Now, maybe some dude will do it, but you probably won't like him that much, okay? You probably gonna be cheating on him with the last dude just went any goddamn way. But guys, is she delusional? Let me know. It's your boy, O'Shea Dick Jackson on Fair Use. We out.